Hello, we're recording some videos to answer commonly asked questions from our customers. I'm Simon Morris, I'm joined by two of my colleagues. Hi, my name's Aria. Hi, my name's Akib. And today we're going to talk about service catalogue and the behaviour and customisation of the continue shopping button. Akib, when is this button typically used in the catalogue? Well, it's used for our catalogue um, to navigate back to where you were coming from. So if you were coming, if you were, if you say, for example, you drill into a category on the catalogue homepage and you want to go back to the catalogue, you press continue shopping on the widget and it'll take you back. Or if you're on an item, it'll take you back to the category that you last visited. Okay. So let's have a look at how it works. If we go to the service catalogue, uh, we can see here already I have an item in my shopping cart. We have a continue shopping button here. Uh, we also have it on other items. So if I go to the telephone extension item, I can see continue shopping. And also the button is on the um, shopping cart screen. And we're really talking about the behavior when this button is clicked. Um, Aka, what's the default behavior? If we leave the uh, continue shopping button unconfigured, how will it work? Uh, default behavior is it'll take you back to where you were coming from. So if you're coming from a category, for example, it'll take you back to that category that you last visited. So it's more intelligent than simply a going back button. It takes you somewhere logical where you should expect to end up. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And can you show us how it's configured? How would we configure this to uh, override its default behavior? So if you drill into maintain catalogs underneath service catalog, you'll have a list of catalogs that you have in your system. And for example, I'll go into the service catalog. And over here we have a field, continue shopping page. And over here you put in your, your URL that you want the user to go back to. Okay, so for example, if you want the user to navigate back to the home page of the catalogue, um, you can specify this URL, cataloghome.do, and then sysparm catalogue, whatever the catalogue sysid is. For this, for this example, it's the sysid of this record. And if we go ahead and save that, and head back to the service catalogue, and we'll drill into hardware and an item and continue shopping now. This should land on the home page of that catalog. Okay, so we've overridden the uh, default behavior. Yeah. Okay. And oh, why does this cause confusion? It seems like a simple feature. Why are customers getting confused about how this works? Well, there are two sticking points. One, one being that for the CMS, if you have a CMS site, you have to configure it differently. And the other being how how you form that URL that you want to go to. So let's start off with a CMS site, and again we'll head to our catalog. So same place, however, you've got a related list of sites. So in this case, we're pointing to employee self-service, and here you'll see again CMS continue shopping page. Here you must specify where you would like to end up when you're in that experience or using that page itself. So if I show you how it currently behaves. So this is our main oh, demo page and we head into hardware. In this case, if I drill into sales laptop and click continue shopping, I should go back to that category or list of values. So the confusion is that to specify uh, where you end up when you're using your CMS site, you have to go via this related list here, and specify here, and if you'd like to specify where you end up using the normal instance, you specify it on the record itself, on the catalog itself. Okay, so the continue shopping button looks the same in the main catalog and on each site. Yes. But we have multiple places of configuration. Yeah. Okay. And you mentioned about the uh, URL has to be formed correctly. Right. So, so to start off, if you're just going to specify a page and you don't have any parameters to pass in, you're be better off just simply specifying that. So you just stick with catalog home. So if you've got a UI page you want to go to, just put that name in there. If you've got any parameters, then by all means use the uh, use the dot do so that, and then you can add your parameters after afterwards. Okay. Yeah. So a common misconfiguration is to include the dot do, yes. and then the system tries to be clever and it adds the dot do again, and you end up with an incident dot do dot do. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Malformed URL. Malformed URL. Okay. Great. 
Yeah. Um, so that's quite a simple thing. This drives quite a lot of uh, incidents into our team, yes. which we're trying to help customers understand how it works and try and avoid these incidents coming in. So no, that's quite a simple feature. Mm -hmm. That feature causes a lot of confusion and ends up with a lot of questions coming into our team from customers. So hopefully we can answer these questions in a video and uh, get customers the right answer quicker. So we're going to record some more videos in future around service catalog and around things like SLA and uh, other ITSM products. And thanks for watching. Over to you, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs>